Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to Justin's house. In this video, I'm going to show you something really quick and simple. This is going to be a fast one, but it's the first thing I noticed when I started using Tokyo. And right now at this point, it's my favorite feature because I haven't gone through all the features yet. Um, but what I was doing when I was setting up my app, and I do this a lot when I use a platform, is you come into these things and you do stuff like group by certain fields, right? So I can right click here and I can group by priority. Now that's been a feature, I'm not showing anything new. What's new after it comes up is this little guy. I've got this little folder icon showing on the column that I grouped by. And then if you look over here to the very right, okay, this is where it gets cool. I can now come in and change how to sort my group if I want to do count ascending so maybe put this in order of who has the most um, in their particular group so now I've got one all the way to 219 or count descending so now I'm sorting by that and so 219 down to one and then I can change this which I think was the default before I went change everything is the review priority ascending so basically using the priority field um, and looking by ascending, not by whatever the group by value was. So I poked around and looked at a couple other places in here and didn't see anything else um, related to that. I mean, you can ungroup, you've always been able to ungroup, so that's not, not a big deal. But I thought that was a neat little enhancement, um, one that you come in and right away you can see with that visual indicator with the little folder icon exactly what's been grouped, but then to be able to come in and say, well, I wanna change how it's sorting while it's grouped. I thought that was pretty cool. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, share with somebody who you think might be interested in changes in Tokyo. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.